Hello guys, uh, welcome back. This is Naveen here once again. So guys, in the previous video, we have, said, we have seen that um, uh, how will you execute your framework and your test cases uh, from Jenkins. But uh, we have seen earlier that uh, the entire code base is available on my local machine in my laptop. Okay, so this is my code that uh, this is my project and everything is available over here. So in the last video, we have seen that in this particular video, that uh, we were executing our test cases uh, directly from Jenkins, not from Eclipse. And uh, we have given the pom.xml file path over there and okay. But the pom.xml file and everything is coming from where? It's everything is coming from my la local laptop, okay, my machine. But now what if let's I uh, check in my code into Git repositories and then what will we see that uh, we will today we will do one thing that we will directly execute okay our test cases everything from directly from git repositories okay so we will integrate jenkins with git repositories and there is no rule a role of eclipse and everything okay from local no need to do that because obviously uh, tomorrow if you are working in a company in a project so obviously your code will be okay you have to check in your code you have to deploy your code on a particular git repository and then you have to execute directly from there so you must know that how will you integrate jenkins with git repository and uh, jenkins will uh, jenkins will pick the code uh, should uh, complete code base it should pick from directly from uh, git repositories and then it should execute from git only okay so let's see i have written this code and uh, this is a git repository uh, if you see that this is a git repo i have created and you can create a check uh, guys git is a free account you can create over there and you can uh, check in your code into git repository into uh, you know just like i have created this is my account so all the if you see that selenium java codes and other um, google calendar test and other selenium sessions and everything is available over here and if you see that uh, I have created number of repositories, one repository I have created for page object model. Some other project we are working upon like API automation using HTTP client. So entire code base is available here. So it's a good practice that you create your own account as an automation engineer. You should have your own account on Git repository. Create your account, create a repository and check in your code over here. Okay, so I have already checked in my code. Okay, and this code is the latest code is available over here. But still, at the safer side, what I'll do, I'll check in my code, everything into my, in this particular repository. Okay. So how to do that quickly, I'll teach you what we have to do. We have to first go to the directory. So this particular code is available here. If you see, right click and go to properties. And if you see the resources, this in my documents, workspace folder is there and page object model folder is there. So I'm already here in workspace folder. So I'll go to my page object model. Okay. And in this particular page object model, my entire code base is available over here. If you see this, with this command like this. Okay. So entire code base is available over here. Now what we have to do, we have to check in our code. So let's see, I'll make some changes in my code, some basic changes or maybe some basic stuff any comment or anything or uh, maybe uh, let me write a comment over here something like this let's see I'm adding author name okay author is Naveen K or uh, Naveen Kureta something like this and I save this file. So I have made some changes in contact page at test.java. So you see that one arrow will be created like this. It means this arrow. It means this particular file we have to check in into Git repository. This file is still pending. We have made some changes. So simple, what I'll do, simple, I'll write one command. First, I'll check what is the status, Git status. So if you write Git status, you will see that uh, these are the files, okay? Uh, this is the file that got updated contact page dot java so these are the manifest.mf and these are the class files are these are we can ignore we will concentrate only on dot java class we have seen that okay contact page test dot java we just added one comment over there so this is ready for comment i mean this is ready for check-in 
then what I'll do I'll put one command git add space dot okay dot so it will add all the complete repository uh, complete uh, folder structure and all the files together and then again I'll check git status so if you see that git status now this particular line is coming in green color green color means that I have added into the bucket okay so earlier it was not into the bucket so it means it is in a red color now it is this but these files are ready to okay check in now before checking what we have to do guys we have to add a comment so we have to write commit commit minus m okay see this is a very basic command and then let's see i have added added minor changes whatever the changes let's we have added contact page test cases or login page test cases or utility that we have created just write a proper comment with this command git commit minus m and in double quotes whatever the string you want to pass just add it and then enter now <clears throat> commit is done now we have to push our code okay into repository so if you refresh this particular page last time i committed 11 days or, or maybe six hours ago okay maybe six hours ago i committed some basic code okay so let's commit a latest <clears throat> push so simply you have to write git push where exactly you want to commit origin into master branch like this git push origin master so this is the master branch we, have, we are using only one master branch one branch that is master branch and then git push origin master and simple enter so you will see that it will do some process first it will ask you that what is your username for github repository so my username is Naveen animation 20 let's see and what is the password so whatever the password you have you just need to add your password um, just a minute okay let me enter my password again no 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 that's not my password what exactly it is saying let me push it again git push username it is asking so that's your username guys you have to be very careful with this Naveen animation 20 is my username okay so that's my username and now it is asking for password so the password i guess let me check my just a minute no let me do it again i forgot my password i guess just a minute that's my username naveen animation 20 let me enter the password authentication failed let me reset my password guys just a minute okay so guys i just reset my password so guys again you have to write this command get push origin master and uh, that's my username naveen animation 20 and my password i'm entering over here you have to use your see now it's pushing the code and it's done and it's saying that uh, uh 100 completed and master to master branch okay the code has been pushed to get repositories guys you have to learn this thing it's a very simple three four command that you have to learn now if you refresh this page you click on this you see that just uh four minutes ago okay it got added and the comment is here add minor changes okay and if you see that change and uh, okay if you see that we made some changes in which class in this class context page dot java so I'll go to contact page dot Java QA pages contacts page dot Java and uh, it's contacts page test dot Java guys sorry so I'll go to SRC test classes contacts page yeah see add minor changes and this is the change we have added author name we have added okay so once you add the latest uh, code into the repo into git repository 
then what you have to do guys you have to start your Jenkins server okay so let's start the Jenkins server from your command so how to start and how to configure setup Jenkins and everything I have already covered in this particular topic guys in this particular video if you see I have already covered okay so please refer this that uh, how to integrate with Jenkins and everything how to set up the Jenkins and everything now we just need to start the Jenkins server so I'll go to my Jenkins uh, repository and Jenkins folder where exactly my Jenkins is available so my Jenkins is available over here inside the documents folder I'll go to Jenkins and we have to execute this Jenkins.war file guys okay so if you see the folder structure in my laptop this is a documents Jenkins Jenkins.war file so we have to reach it in, in this particular directory so Jenkins.war file is over here and then let me clear this command prompt yeah now you have to execute this command java hyphen jar jenkins.war file you have to execute and once you execute this war file jenkins it will start jenkins and uh, see it is starting the jenkins server it's saying some socket error but it's saying jenkins is fully up and running okay so jenkins is fully up and running and uh, let's see Jenkins is running or not so I'll open my Google Chrome let's see and I'll enter localhost 8080 okay guys because Jenkins runs on 8080 see Jenkins is if this particular login page is coming it means your Jenkins is working fine and click on login so how to enter the username password how to create the password everything I have already covered in the previous session guys okay so don't jump into this session please refer this this video first okay and then what we have to do I'll create a new item a new project one so let's see my project name is free CRM test suite or test job I'll write okay and this is the maven project and I click on okay okay and uh, we will write some description you can copy paste the same over here and uh, now earlier we used none okay because the code is available on my machine now the code is available where on git repository so you have to select git and what is your repository url so we have to add this particular repository url that is my repository url guys okay so just copy this url and paste it over here okay and credential don't select any credentials over here everything is fine and from which branch you want to execute so obviously from master branch if you want to execute from a specific branch just write sla uh, star slash and the branch name but most of the time we will be executing from master branch only so just enter master branch over here okay now after that repository browser don't do anything over here check additional behavior nothing we don't need to do anything check any advanced option name and uh, reference specification nothing okay everything is like that you have to add and uh, what we have to do build triggers the same build whenever a snapshot dependency is built fine don't select any build environment okay and uh, what is your root pom my pom.xml file pick the okay this particular pom.xml file so it will pick this particular pom.xml file from your git repository okay so this is a fine what is the goal my goal is we have to clean install okay so that it will first uh, install all the artifacts all the dependencies and everything and then it will execute your test cases okay and uh, add post build step we have to add that is let's see uh, 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 uh. so first apply and save it okay it got saved and uh, again go to configure and let's see other post build steps what are the yeah so we can see the post build steps that we want to publish <coughs> test result results 
okay fine just let it be like this and we have to publish HTML reports also so for HTML reports if you remember that we, we generated extend report okay in this particular session guys please refer this session how to generate extend report okay extend.html file path we have to give so first let's see first we will see with the testng.xml file only and uh, later we will i'll show you that how to generate the uh, html report also through jenkins okay extend report and everything and just simple apply and click on save okay and what we have to do guys just trigger the build now okay so now you have to click on build now click on build now and open this console and you will see that see now it's interacting with this particular git repository page object model okay instead of your local code which is available on your local machine it's not interacting with that it's interacting with this particular git repository so it's making the connection with the repository and uh, it's checking that uh, that url exists or not so, and it's fetching all the information from this repository so it takes some time let it be like this so it is still running okay so this is the first time uh, it takes some time next time if you execute it will be very fast see do you see that it's uh, cloning the remote git repository this is the first it will clone the repository into its own workspace in jenkins itself okay and uh, then it's fetching the information see now it's parsing the pom.xml file see parsing poms and then fine everything is fine it's running all the things now it jumped to test cases now it should see it should trigger it should launch your google chrome see it's launching the google chrome and entering the url and all the test cases are running now see entering the username password and everything is running now right so you can see all the test cases are running fine it executed second test case you can see that so okay so it jumped to the test cases after making the connection with the git repository see parsing a pom of xml file and then uh, executing your test cases one by one so now i'll do i'll pause the rec i'll pause the recording and then uh, once the test cases are done because there are 12 test cases will be executed once all the 12 test cases are done then i'll play it again so guys uh, you can see that it is still running so what i'll do that i'll deliberately fail my test cases because i don't want to execute uh, so i'll just close the browser okay so let's close the browser so one by one it will execute each and every browser but it's giving at least one thing that okay yes it's launching the browser and my test cases are running fine see again it's launching the browser and entering the url and everything and my test cases are at least running fine so let's not waste our time that every time it will log in and perform the scenario so let me close the browser automatically okay i mean manually i'll close the browser so that at least i don't want to waste my time in execution okay so see it's entering the username password and performing some different scenario again it's entering so i think you can see that all the test cases got executed around 14 test cases were there three failure zero and skipped because skip seven means we deliberately terminated terminated the browser okay so that doesn't matter you can execute your test case full test cases and everything and you can see that it's that all the test cases are getting executing fine either it is pass or fail or terminated or whatever that doesn't matter for us as of now so okay you can execute by your own and uh, you will see that you click on this you will see that that build is unstable okay so you click on this number one you will see that first of all test ng results see the test ng results you will be getting over here all these three failure test cases are there that these three failure test cases the reason behind that are unable to locate element or something whatever the reason behind that okay so complete failure information or skipped information it will give you 
and all the test cases you can see that all these test cases how many test cases got pass fail and everything it will give you the complete information like that okay and uh, so this is the test change results okay so everything is coming from git repository now now guys we have to check that how can we integrate with okay how can we generate the extend report here okay how can we display the extend report over here okay so what we have to do guys if you see extend report generally generates in test output folder right if you see that in our project also extend report will be generated in test output folder remember extend draws html file now what we have to do the same the clone okay the workspace will be created over here in jenkins also the same exact folder structure will be created in jenkins also okay now what we have to do we know that inside the test output folder this extend.html file is available over here right this extend.html file available over here now what we have to do we have to give the same exact file path in the configuration how to do that so i'll go to configure right and uh, the last step so this is a published stng results now we have to publish html report we have to publish html report also so if you don't find this option guys you have to download the plugin html report plugin publish html report plugin you have to download so just click on it and click on add and uh, on from which directory so we know that it's available here in test uh, hyphen output slash okay this is the test output directory and what is the page uh, let's see index extend.html and what is the report name you want to give let's see my report name is extend html report like this and uh, that's it click on apply and save okay now what exactly i'll do i'll trigger the build again okay so let me click on build now and you will see that build number two is running now again it will do all the things now see directly jump to test okay the first time it was taking time second time again it will launch the browser and everything so i'll deliberately close all the browsers because i don't want to execute i don't want to waste my time so i know that all the test cases will be running fine the second browser is getting open again i close it so by closing all the browsers it will make your test cases failed but that doesn't matter okay but but in this particular video we just want to see that my test cases are running fine through jenkins from git or not from git repositories or not okay later on you can create some four or five test cases and you can try with selenium uh, we can try with the uh, jenkins with okay with git repository you will see that okay the overall status is failure and uh, let's see i click on this too and uh, what exactly it is saying so this is the test ng result and i click on this so it is not generating any report over here just a minute let me check so let's go to the configuration once again <laughs> click on this publishing options and uh, just select this checkbox also guys right? sometimes we have to link to last build and uh, everything is fine let me check just a minute okay so let me go to the configuration once again maybe some configuration mistake we have done oh oh, oh see html directory to archive this is the thing we have to enter over here which index page so test output folder pick this html file okay we have to write like this over here okay just a minute yeah okay and uh, now apply and save it and trigger the build again build now and uh, 
go to the console okay jumping to the test cases it should launch the chrome fine it's launching the google chrome today this site is very slow so it's taking some time okay so let it enter the username password okay let's run at least one or two test cases now it's going to new contact fine again launching the second browser right for the second test case so at least let's run a couple of test cases then we will see now it's launching the third and you will see the results that okay one by one all the logs are getting generated you can see it over here right so guys again if you're directly jumping to into this particular topic please don't jump okay first you should know that what is page object model and then what is how to integrate how to generate the jenkins uh, extend report how to integrate with jenkins like jenkins setup installation and everything and then move to jenkins with git repository integration Okay, so see it got stopped. So I think some problem with this site sometimes. So let me close the browser. I don't want to do that unnecessary. So let's not waste our time. Let me close the browser. Although it will mark that particular test case failed that browser closed suddenly or something like that. So let's close it again. And see now. So it's saying that uh, three failure, zero error, skipped 12. There are test cases failed and fine. Whatever the results, because we deliberately close all the things. And uh, now if you click over here, now you will see that extend HTML report. Although I'll see there is a typo mistake, but extend HTML report is getting generated over here. Now, if you see, you click on this extend HTML report is coming like this. So if you see the original extend report, see from the previous, from my Eclipse, if you copy this extend HTML report, guys, see, ideally we should get this kind of report, right? Some graphics and everything like this. But in Jenkins, you get this. So how to resolve this problem? Okay. So after Jenkins 1.6, this problem is coming. It's not picking the proper HTML code or a CSS code. I mean, the CSS and a class files and okay html files properly so it's generating the report this is just exact like this report but it's giving some it's missing all the html component and everything all the buttons classes and look and feel so how to resolve this problem okay guys so there are two types of reports first of all we are generating test ng results test ng results are like this and you can see the trend also test cases count and how exactly test cases are you know um, according to the time how exactly the trend and uh, you can see the extent report also but the problem is extent report is like this now how to do that how to solve this problem to solve this problem guys what you have to do you have to go to jenkins okay go to manage jenkins and go to script console and here you have to write one thing i'll give you that once property you have to set okay this is the system dot set property hudson model directory browser support dot csp this property you have to okay this property you have to enter over here like this okay i'll write this particular property in the comment section i mean in the description section so you can copy that particular this property and go to the script console and simply click on run if you see the result is coming like this okay i mean there are no results but if you see it is coming like this click on run it again yeah so make sure that you are getting result and result colon it means this is script is working fine now what you have to do you have to go to the uh, jenkins again this is your project right and if you see the extent report again it is coming like that but now what we have to do we have to trigger the build again to generate the proper html report so that all the css and html components working fine so click on build now again so we will trigger the build again
okay so I just triggered build number four is running now and it jumped to test cases so let it execute okay I think first test case is, is fine today this site is very slow that's why it's taking a lot of time okay so browser closed now the second test case is running this is fine third test case is running this is also fine now the fourth test case is running okay fine so it's okay doing something over here and uh, so let's not wait for the component and element okay I'm closing the browser let's quickly execute all the test cases by closing the browser although it will be failed that doesn't matter so let's see what is happening with this test case fine okay that is also fine this is also running now okay so I'm pausing the pausing the video let it execute all the test cases and then we will see so guys you can see all the test cases got executed uh, total test run 10 failure to a blah 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 some some failure test cases are there I deliberately close the browser because of those things so we are not bothered about that and what I'll do I'll go to see build number four got executed if you see the test change results fine and if you see the extend HTML report now now it is coming properly okay it is coming all the test cases uh, you know pass fail results it's showing like this and if you see the report like that so earlier it was not showing the proper report like HTML things were missing or CSS and it was not I mean obviously look and feel was not that good obviously so what we have to do you have to add that script in the console this is particular script and that system dot set property script console you have to add okay guys now this is we have seen that Jenkins is integ integrating interacting with git repositories there is no role of Eclipse now okay from our local machine we are not doing that from our local machine we have pushed our code to git repositories and from git to okay from git to uh, through Jenkins we are running like this so it's very very simple you can try now you you know that how to integrate uh, Jenkins with your local how to integrate Jenkins with your git okay that's it and uh, now guys uh, this is uh, the sequence video of this particular thing so selenium integration if you see that we have given the title like this that uh, selenium integration with Jenkins selenium plus Jenkins integration part 6 now it will be I think part 7 that selenium plus uh, Jenkins plus git integration okay so I'll write I'll give the uh, git repository description in the U and the uh, URL in the description plus uh, I'll give this particular script also that we have added that system dot set property this property script also and uh, all these information I'll provide over here let me know if you have any issues any concerns but please watch this particular video this particular part 6 video that how to install Jenkins and how to set up the Jenkins generate the username password for Jenkins and everything then jump to part number seven okay so that's all for uh, today guys thank you so much for watching it and please share if you like it and please click on subscribe button there are a lot of videos I'm, I'm preparing and then um, it will be published very soon
Thank you so much.